Hey guys, welcome to Charger Games. This is Raja and this is another Unity 2D racing game tutorial. So in the last video we have done uh, screen resolution independent UI so that our game gets scaled according to the UI of according to the screen size or resolution of different kind of Android devices. So in this video we're gonna take a look at a very important topic that's platform dependent input or platform dependent code. So suppose you are uh, running this game on Android and we already have a game that runs on Windows and all the inputs that we have given so far are dependent on Windows platform. So we still now we have created it so that the input is taken from our keyboard. But when we run it on Android, we don't have those keyboard inputs. So we have to figure out a way so that whenever the game runs on Android, then the touch inputs or the accelerometer inputs or the Android specific inputs work. And when it runs on Windows, then the Windows specific inputs work automatically. So that we don't have to delete any code, it, the game will be portable and it will run on any platform because the code will be the same. Just depending on the platform, different code will run. So we'll learn how to do that. So let's get started. So first of all, just click on the car and as you can see into the car we have this car controller script attached. You need to open it and this is our car controller script. Now what you're gonna do is, I'm gonna do is very very simple way. Okay, there are other ways to do that but I'm gonna try to do it very simple way. So at the beginning I'm gonna create a boolean variable. So bool current platform android you're gonna name it anything you want equals false so this is a variable that will uh, is a variable that will figure out if the current platform is android or not so in the awake function what we need to do is in the awake function we need to check if the current platform is android then we need to set this variable to true and if the current platform is not Android, then it will remain false. Okay, so an easier way to do that is to do this: you rest write hash if not if 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 Unity in capital and underscore Android this one. So if Unity Android, this will figure out. I mean, this will be true only when. Uh, Unity is running on Android or the current platform is Android as you can see our current platform is set as Android so this flag will be true so when this is true only then the code inside this will run okay and now inside this we'll write current platform Android equals true simple so if the current platform is Android then we're gonna make the current platform Android true now else has else else we're gonna do current platform Android equals false okay so if it is unity Android then we will make the current platform Android true else we'll make it false and at the end we will write we need to write end if okay okay so this is how you very simple way a very simple way you write platform dependent code so when the current platform is Android then this full code will run else this code will run and at the beginning we will know before even starting the game in the awake function we will know if the current platform is Android or not and then we can do things depending on that so let's select all this and press tab so that they get indented correctly I think that should be good okay so now one more thing you can do is in the start function just for your convenience in the start function I'm gonna check if current platform Android equals double equals true I don't know why I can't type today if the current platform Android is true then we're gonna debug log Android okay and else we're gonna say Windows say okay say Windows okay so this is a very simple way to know if the current platform is Android or not okay 
So now, since the current platform is Android, and we have written in the start function that if the current platform Android is true, then it will print Android. So let's go and check it out if it works or not. So just go to window and console and bring out the console. And now, let's clear it. Now, if I run this game, as you can see, since we have written in the start that if the platform is Android, then it should print Android. And as you can see, it has printed Android. Okay, so our platform dependent code is pretty much working. Now, one thing we can do in the update function is this. In the update, we can write if current platform Android equals true, not tier, true, then inside this, we will write Android specific code. So, if, the, if it is Android, then we will write here the code that is input code that is specific for Android, suppose touch inputs or accelerometer inputs. So, we're going to write all that inside this. So, when the current platform is Android, automatically this code will run. And when the current platform is not Android, that means else, we will write this input code that we have written so far. Okay? Simple. So when it is running on Windows, then automatically this thing will run, which we have written so far. So that means when it is Windows, automatically it will take input from our keyboard inputs. And when we will, it is running on Android, then it will automatically take inputs from whatever we write here. So now you can see if I run it now, since the current platform is Android, so this code will not run and I will not be able to move our uh, car by using left and right arrow keys. If I run this game now, as you can see, I'm trying but I'm unable to move the car by using left and right arrow keys since our platform dependent code says that current platform is Android and it should run whatever is inside this instead of what it is inside this. And if I change the platform to Windows, you will see that this code automatically runs. So this is how we make your code portable and it will run whether you were making the game for Windows or Android or whatever. Okay. So I hope this will be very, very helpful to you guys. So thank you guys for watching. Have a great day. If you really like this video, make sure to hit the like button. If you haven't subscribed yet, make sure to subscribe. So I'm uploading new videos every day. So thanks a lot for watching. Have a great day. See you in another video. Happy learning.